Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm the Career Mode Expert, and today I want to kick off this channel by bringing you a brand new Career Mode series. I want to create fairly realistic careers that really take the team's history into account. So if you like my videos, please share and comment so I can keep the content coming. And with that quick intro, let's dive right into it. So for the first career on this channel, I've picked Norwich City. They're currently in the English Championship and are actually in first place at the moment in real life. In recent times, however, the team's been known as a bit of a yo-yo club. They're constantly bouncing back and forth between the Premier League and the Championship. Um, and historically, the team's board loves to cash in on their best players, and this has really prevented them from reaching their full potential. However, the board has started to change the way that they run as a business and are actually debt-free as of 2016. This puts the team in a pretty good spot and they look to have a bright future ahead of them now. So here's where our campaign starts. The board has rethought their objectives and decided to invest heavily in a reliable youth academy. This way, they can produce enough talent to avoid the big ups and downs of recent years and really establish themselves as a consistent mid-table Premier League side. To build on the club's new debt-free status, the new transfer policy is for us to stay neutral. The rule is that any money being spent on new players must be earned back with the sale of old players, so any money in has to equal the money going out. The board is going to still prioritize cashing in on our best players, so talent is going to be sold whenever good enough offers come in. This puts some responsibility on us to continually develop new players and fill any gaps that get left in our squad with sales. So for this career, we're going to be acting as fictional manager Warren Cross, who understands the club's rules and is willing to work with them. He's known for an attacking-minded, possession-based brand of football. Now this style might take a while to implement successfully, especially with this current crop of players, but the club is willing to be patient. Now the board would ideally like to see promotion in the first year, but again, they're willing to be patient and allow us to build this team over the course of several seasons, so we'll see where things go. So with that, let's jump in and take a look at the current squad. So I've done a little work already to set up the team in a formation that probably suits our style better. Um, but let's get to know the players and we'll, we'll start from top to bottom here. So Timu Puki is the Canary's new big signing this season from Denmark, and he really looks to lead the line. In real life, he's killing it in the championship and is bagging tons of goals. I think he's the top goal scorer as of the time this video is made, and I expect some really big things from him this season. He's pretty well-rounded, uh, fast, strong, and actually a really great technical player as well. You can see some of his, his passing stats are solid for a striker. On the left here, we have Ono Hernandez. Now, he's blazingly fast, and I'm going to love watching him bomb up and down the wings. And he's only 25, so he'll have a lot of room to grow technically as well. Now, on the right-hand side, we have Emiliano Buendia. On the flip side, he's not the quickest or the most agile, uh, but he looks to be a really great technical player, and I can't wait to see what we can get out of him this season. He's only 21 years of age and just looks to be a really bright prospect. Now, club captain Alexander Tete has been with the club since 2012, and he's actually the longest standing player of this current team. He's not the quickest or the most technical player, but his experience and his overall heart on the field make him a really notable figure here. He is getting up there with age at 32, so we'll be eyeballing replacements as the season goes on, but for now, he's going to be our main man in the midfield. To the left and right of him, we have Marco Steeperman, who actually used to be a left back, uh, just a totally versatile player who's kind of playing in an attacking mid position now. Uh, really well-rounded, doesn't particularly stand out in any one aspect, but I think he'll be a great force going forward for us and we'll put him in more of a creative role. On the other side, we have Mario Vrancic, who can kind of play anywhere in the midfield and we'll sort of swap him in and out. Again, he's 29 years of age, so we might have to be looking at younger replacements in the near future. It's also worth noting that we have a ton of other options for center midfield. Tom Tribal, Kenny McLean, and Moritz Leitner are all on the fringes and could easily push into the first team. Fullbacks Aarons and Lewis are both academy stars and super important to the club. They're not that dissimilar in their playstyles, both pretty speedy, maybe lacking a little bit in the technical side, but at 18 and 21 respectively, they have super bright futures ahead of them and they're only going to grow into these roles. Now at the center back positions, we have Tim Close and Christoph Zimmerman, who are both 6 foot 4 and are going to be really intimidating for the other team. Close is a great leader for the back line at the age of 30, um, but again, he might be one that we need to look at for replacements in the next few seasons. 
Zimmerman, on the other hand, is only 25 and really not that far off where Close is at anyway, so I think he'll be able to grow a lot under his leadership and uh, be our number one center back moving forward. And in the goalkeeper position, we have veteran Tim Krul, who has just joined the club and is expected to bring additional experience to the back line. I think some of these experienced defenders are going to help Aarons and Lewis get integrated into the team, and even to some degree Zimmerman, so we have a back line sorted to grow on for the future. The rest of our bench is actually really deep in terms of the center mid and defensive positions. Um, so you can see we have a solid backup goalkeeper in McGovern, uh, Hanley ready to fill in for center back. And then for the fullback positions, we have Ivo Pinto, who at 71 is actually a really solid player, as well as Philip Heiss at 70, who could easily fill in for that left back position as well. We're going to give priority to our academy stars Lewis and Aarons, but we'll see how the season goes. Other notable players here are Academy graduates Carlton Morris, Todd Cantwell, Alfie Payne, and Aston Oxborough, who are all expected to be integrated into the first team over time. Now they're all a bit off the mark to start with, so we'll see how much they get in the first season, but these are ones to watch out for as well. So the team looks to be in pretty great shape so far. The only area I'm a little worried about are the wings. We have Hernandez and Buendia to start with, but outside of that, there aren't many options. On the left, we do have Cantwell to fill in, but that's about it. And as far as options on the right go, we have no one except for Buendia. Um, there might be some fullbacks who could fill in. We'll see how Pinto or, or even Aarons could push up into that position. But we might be in a lot of trouble if we have any injuries come up here. So we'll establish our youth academy right away, and hopefully we'll get some players who can start filling in those positions. I've also gone ahead and tweaked some of the tactics to fit our system better. You can see we'll be pressing after possession lost in an attempt to win the ball back very fast. The general offensive play style is going to be possession based, so we'll have a lot of short passes, patient build up on the ball, and just try to work the ball down the field. Keep a good amount of width, get a lot of players into the box to create chances, and that's sort of the gist here. In terms of individual player instructions, we're going to have Hernandez stay wide and get in behind. I think his pace is going to be really great on the counter, and we want to capitalize on that. Timu Puki is going to play as a pretty much default striker. He'll just be in and around the box and creating a lot of chances for us. On the other hand, Emiliano Buendia is going to be set to cut inside and come short. He's not quite quick enough to get in behind on his own, so we're going to have him as more of a playmaker coming in from the right. In the center mid spots, Vrancic will be our default center mid, just sort of filling up the space and playing as you'd expect. Tete is going to stay back while attacking and try to win the ball back, which is what he's best at. And on the other hand, we have Marco Stieperman, who we're going to set kind of conservatively in a defensive sense, but he's going to get forward on attack and play in a sort of creative role. So you can see he has the positioning freedom to free roam around the field and find space wherever he can. In the back line, we set Lewis and Aarons to complement those in front of them. So Lewis is going to make inverted run types in around Hernandez and try to get inside of the box. On the other side, Aarons is going to join the attack whenever possible and overlap around Buendia, so we'll use him to get the width that we need on the right side. Close and Zimmerman are just going to play as standard center backs. They're not really great on the ball, which actually could be a problem for our system, but we're just going to leave them to do what they do best. In terms of player roles, Tete is our captain. Vrancic is on the short free kicks, Buendillo is on the long, and Puki will be taking our penalties. So that's the team as it stands now. Let's move on and set up our youth academy before getting started in the preseason. Alright, so we'll jump in and hire our first scout. Um, I don't want anyone too overpowered just so we're not getting an absurd amount of talent here. So we'll pick a middle of the road scout and let's send him out right away. Send him to England, uh, duration of nine months, and we'll just kind of cast a broad net here because outside of the wingers, we're just looking for general talent. So now let's send him ahead and, and we'll just get started with the first preseason game here. I'm really excited to see what the team's capable of. Uh, we're going to start with our strongest starting 11 and then as the preseason goes on, we'll try out a few new things. So here we go, first game of the preseason. I'm really excited to see what this team's capable of. Our first opponents are going to be Rems from France, who are actually a pretty solid team on paper, and to be honest, probably favored to beat us here, but 
Feeling pretty confident so far. Get the ball rolling and just work it around a bit. See, Aaron's doing really well to win the ball back early there. And then we just work it around patiently in the midfield. Steeperman holding the ball up well. And getting that connection play in the wings. Really nice overlapping run by Aaron's there. And that's exactly what we were telling him to do in those team tactics. Works the ball up to the top of the box. Plays it in. And the final ball is just off. But really promising there from the start. Can see Close getting out there to close down on the wings. And fantastic start by the team. The corners whipped in. Just kept out, and a fantastic effort from outside the box, but just over the bar, luckily. We'll get started short off the corner and work the ball up through the back, just like we were planning on. You can see the midfield working the ball around really nice, and Aaron's in tons of space down the wing there again. Just pushing the ball up, Steeperman with the connection, and Hernandez actually finding his way onto the right side. It's a beautiful overlapping ball, and Aarons finds himself in a really good position again. Puts the ball in, and it's a fantastic finish there by Steeperman. Really great goal. He's getting in there from those attacking mid positions and, and already got a goal to his name. Really great stuff so far. You could just see that finish. Really fantastic technique. So it's 1-0. We're looking pretty solid defensively. Buendia wins the ball back. And you can see Steeperman playing really well in that hole once again. And Aaron's again on that overlap, just in so much space on the, out on the wing. He works the ball in, and it's just a bad touch, but really great idea there. We've dominated the match so far, and I, I really couldn't be happier with the team. You can see Steeperman again finding himself in some space. And Buendia there out on the wings. He plays the ball in, it's a little chip and just off, but great chance once again. Now Rems has looked dangerous in some of the counters so far. They play a nice ball in right here. And luckily it's just wide, but that's more down to poor finishing than anything. Great chance. Close tries to play the ball long and really poor technique on the pass there. I wonder if that's going to be a recurring theme for us. Our, our center backs just aren't very good on the ball and that's going to be key to this system. You can see Vrancic pushing the ball up through the center nicely. And once again, Aaron's just tons of space on the wing. Plays it through to Buendia. He's a little careful on the ball. Just plays the easy one too. And the two of them are linking up really well together. Back up to the top of the box. Played in. And Buendia with a beautiful through ball. And it's Timu Puki to finish it. Already up and running. Uh, the teams just look so good offensively. That's a fantastic ball under pressure. And it's 2-0. Rems with the ball to start once again. They're actually working their way into the game a bit here. Uh, finding some space on the wing. Nice overlapping run here. And they play a great ball into the box, but it's just dealt with. Close kicking it away. It's a bad ball and the team's struggling a little bit here. It's played in. Aaron's with some terrible defending and Close is there to stop it, but... If it wasn't for close, I think we'd be conceding a lot of these. Um, looking a little bit shaky defensively. Cruel plays the ball out, and luckily it's halftime. Rims was definitely putting some pressure on us there before the end of the half, and I think the whistle came just at the right time. So we're back for the kickoff in the second half. No changes from either side. Um, I think we'll just kind of look to keep playing as we've been. Steeperman wins the ball back and gives it away poorly right away. Uh, but he's working hard and actually wins the ball back for a second time and gives it away yet again. Um, good work there from him, but just sloppy play. It's a nice shot from outside the box, but once again, that's wide. Some space for Lewis there out on the side. And Hernandez plays a really nice ball there. And Puki making a fantastic run down the channel, takes a touch and gets fouled right at the edge of the box. I'm going to try to work it short here to Tete, and it's a terrible miscontrol. Gave the ball away. That's just a stupid mistake. Kind of struggling to defend here, and Cruel with a fantastic save. He makes that one look easy, but I don't think it was. Launches the ball directly to Puki on the counterattack here. Steeperman takes a nice touch and plays it through to Hernandez in tons of space. I'm going to stop the ball, cut it back to the top of the box, and... Whew, 
Off the post there by Puki, but a great run once again, and he's finding himself in really good positions. Uh, let's take this chance to make some subs. I see Tete looking really tired there. He's played well, but uh, I'm a little worried about his stamina. So we'll swap Tribal into there um, and get Lightner for Vranchich, which would be a pretty straightforward swap. And we might as well give Rhodes a run out. Puki's playing really well, but kind of want to see what the team's capable of in preseason. And Lewis just sees it out for another corner. Ball's put back into play. And a really good ball into the box there. And the team just struggling to deal with it. Zimmerman can't get there, and it's put into the back of the net. Really sloppy defending there, but you can't say Rems haven't deserved something. They've missed a few chances and really been knocking on the door the last half. The ball's worked back up, and luckily it's full time. 2-1, not too concerned with conceding that. I think we were pretty much in control of the match, but definitely some things to improve on for the next couple of games. How bright has he looked so far? Puki with a great chance and took his first goal fantastically. I think he's making really smart movements in offense and definitely going to be a star player for us this season. Overall, the team looking really sharp. I think we were a little bit sloppy in possession at times, but can't expect too much out of the first game. So I've gone ahead and simmed through the rest of the preseason matches more or less. Um, and if we get into the final, I, I will show that gameplay, but I just sort of want to get the season moving now. Um... And we actually lose out anyways, so nothing else to worry about in terms of preseason. Now we were able to win a little bit of prize money, which would be really nice moving forward. And uh, I did also start training some of the players here. Um, so you can see Puki, I want to improve in his passing a little bit just so he can create more opportunities for us. And I've started training Morris as well in a bunch of different areas just because I see him as our long-term striker uh, solution. So. I want to start improving him a little bit so he can get into the first team. Also Oxborough, who's our long-term academy goalkeeping prospect, so we'll get the ball rolling with all of these players. Um, it's also worth noting that in terms of transfers, I turned the first window off just because I want to keep things realistic and the transfers that were made in real life are all still new. Um, so I don't want anyone coming or going that has already been established. Um, these are the categories that were already put in for us at the start of the game but as we get closer to January we'll actually start looking at players ourselves. Um, for now we're just going to sim ahead and, and see what our academy brings us here. And right as we're coming up to our first game let's take a look at our report here. Uh, Baker does not look up to snuff and neither does this Baker. Creative names there. Um, Archie Clark, yeah, the high end of his potential could work for us, so we're going to leave him around, and Bennett really disappointing once again, so uh, not too much to look forward to here, but we'll keep an eye on Clark and see if maybe he can develop into something. Alright, so first up is Birmingham, which is a side that's definitely struggling in recent years, but has a lot of history and could give us a run for our money here, but I'm feeling pretty confident. I, I like what I saw from the team preseason so far, and we'll just be looking to start out on a good foot. Alright, so here come the players. First game of the season, and I'm feeling pretty hopeful about this squad, to be honest. On paper, we have a fantastic team. The individual talent here is really good. It's just going to be a matter of if we can get the system working or not on time, but I mean, I think Norwich should be favored, uh, you know, just based on the players for promotion, so, so we'll see how things work out. I know some of the players to watch out for are Che Adams up top, who's really fast and a great young player. So hopefully our defense is able to handle that. I'm a little worried about the pace of our center back. So, like I said, one to watch out for. But anyways, let's kick off and the players are out at it. Adams with the ball. Making a nice darting run down the center of mid there. He works the ball in. And it's a really good ball there. Whew, just managed to grab it off of Hota, but really bright start from Birmingham. We're going to have to defend this corner well because... We're a little bit vulnerable to balls in the box from what I've seen in the last couple games. <laughs> Steeperman with a really acrobatic clearance there. And he manages to work it out. Hernandez with a lot of space. And he's got that great pace. He's just able to get the ball down. We're just going to put it into the box. And Pookie can't get on the end of it. But really great break there from the team. Again, Birmingham looking to cut down the center. But pass is just not on target. Puki dropping deep to help out, and it's a really nice ball out to the wing there. And Buendia making a nice run. 
cuts it back. And just keeping a hold of the ball, but solid defending. Peterson just kicks it out. Oof, the team presses up high. Francis is able to clip it into the box, and goalkeeper just gets to it. But good pressing there. So we're just going to work the ball around, be patient here. I think we're trying to rush things a little too much, but we've actually created some good opportunities so far, so can't complain too much. Lewis takes a nice touch, and Hernandez making the run down the wing there. Oof, does really well to work the ball in, and it's a fantastic effort off the post. Can't believe Hernandez got that cross off. Close winning it back well. Tete works it up, and again, Hernandez in behind. Takes a wonderful touch, and just can't get the cross off. He's looked so dangerous in this first half. Fantastic ball in behind for Maghoma, but poor end product there. Birmingham defending pretty well, not a lot of space here. But the midfield is working the ball around nicely. Puki dropping deep to help out once again. And Hernandez with a great piece of skill. Puts the ball into the box. And Steeperman gets on the end of it, but just into the defender. Another great opportunity there. Overall though, we're just dominating possession so far. Really worked our way into the game and, and absolutely looked the better side. Hernandez with a great bit of movement. Cuts the ball back. Ugh, and just into the defender. Tete does really well to win the ball back and plays it through down to Buendia who chips it up and just can't get on the end of that ball. Steeperman turns and has a shot from the edge of the box and Hernandez just gets on the end of that and it's an own goal. Again, really acrobatic for him to even get on the end of that. A little sloppy from the defending, but I'll take it. We're creating a lot of great opportunities and looked so sharp so far. Could see how much it means to these players to start the season well. Really bright stuff. I, I couldn't be happier with the performance. Could see such a great turn by Steeperman to get the shot off, even though it was blocked in the end. And just a fantastic bit of skill to even get on the end of that rebound. Hernandez has far and away been the best player on the field this game. He's definitely got a little bit of room to grow technically, but some really promising signs from him. Buendia sends it through to Hernandez, who again looks to be away on the wing, but does well to keep it in. And actually cuts the ball back, and it's a really great effort from Puki over the bar. I can't seem to say enough about Hernandez this game. He's just been the star man, keeps getting the ball and creating chances for the team. And that's half. Wow, what a great first half. I think the team's looking really sharp so far, um, just creating a lot of solid opportunities and have more or less kept Birmingham out of the game completely. I think they had like one or two looks at goal, but nothing too serious. And I mean, we've had the majority of possession by far. Be interested to see what the stats are here. Yeah, as you can see, 63% possession. The team's really taken to the system so far. And I mean, can't ask for much more out of the first game. So let's get the ball rolling for the second half here. Puki kicks it back to Buendia, and we're just going to look to work the ball around a little bit. The game is still only 1-0 though, so I do need to be careful here that we don't concede something sloppy and drop points. Gardner charging up the field, puts a really good ball in, and Krul gets on the end of it, but not a great start to the second half. That's a pretty solid opportunity for Birmingham. Aarons with a great bit of skill, puts a really nice ball in, and Puki just can't get on the end of it, but fantastic play by the fullback. Like I said, he is going to be looking to give us some of that width that Buendia can't. I think we'll see a lot of threat coming in from his side this season. Birmingham is working the ball around nicely here. they got a nice little spell of possession going, but can't really penetrate the defense all the way. And it's a great overlapping run there. Ball put into the box and just dealt with by Steeperman. Steeperman is 6'3". Uh, it'll be a nice outlet to win some headers like that for us. Now Lewis charging up the field and gets Hernandez in behind once again. Cuts the ball back and works the ball into Puki, who gets a really nice head on the ball, but it's right at the goalie. Puki making some fantastic runs. He's had a few solid chances this game, but he'll definitely have some more opportunities if he keeps making runs like that. Just sort of content to be working it around, which, I mean, from our perspective, we'll take that. Uh, but it is a good ball in there for Adams, who just can't get the shot off past Zimmerman. From the corner, it's kicked back out. Great ball in. Cruel just gets the punch there. Hota out on the wing. 
Tries to cut it back, and it's out for a corner once again. I'm a little afraid we're going to concede something sloppy here at the end of the game, so I definitely want to get possession and uh, make sure that we don't concede too many chances. So with that, I'm going to get Tete out of there because he's looking a little tired. Straight swap for Tribal. Um, we're actually going to give McLean a run here. A little more agile than Steeperman, so he could help us work the ball up a little better. Corner comes in. And it's in the back of the net. What was I just saying? Terrible to concede from that. Really, I mean, against the run of play, I, I mean, corners are a part of the game, so I guess fair enough. But can't say they really deserve that one. 1-1. Uh, we really got to try to work our way back into the game here and get some points out of the game because Ty just isn't good enough. Buendia whips a ball in, but straight into the defender there. Clayne works it up. Puki coming back to get the ball once again. It's a really nice run through the center there. Oh, and a terrible shot at the end of the play. Solid link up, but just poor finishing there at the end. I think that was a really great opportunity. It's totally scuffed the shot, it looks like. Still 10 minutes left, and, and hopefully we can create some more chances. Ah, Puki not making the most of that chance. He tried to pass it off to the runner, but I think we would have been better off taking that shot. That's disappointing. Puki with some nice hold-up play. And Hernandez making a great run in behind. This might be the last opportunity of the game. I'm going to cut it back. And just can't get the cross off in. Great defending there from Morrison. The ball's played up. And Zimmerman just able to deal with that one. And it's full time. Really disappointing result there. I, I think we deserved the win, but just struggling to put some of those balls into the back of the net. We had a lot of clear-cut chances in the first half that I think should have put us in front, but like I said, just poor finishing. Anyways, I mean, a tie could be a lot worse, and I think there's a lot of bright stuff to build on here. Team played well overall. I mean, I don't have too many complaints. Conceding off a corner, I mean, I guess maybe it was a bad idea taking off Steeperman to defend for that, but not much you can do in those situations. Ended the game with 57% possession. Honestly created a lot of shots and got a bunch on target too, so I'm not too worried with it. We'll just keep moving on and hopefully the rest of the season goes better. Alright, so first game down, it was a tie. Again, a little bit disappointing, but could be a lot worse and I think we have a lot to build on here. So that's going to take us to the end of our first video. I really hope you liked this so far. Again, if you like this content, please share it with your friends or comment and kind of get active on these because they do take a lot of time to put together and I do want to know that enough people are watching for me to make this worthwhile. So with that, thanks so much for watching. I'm the Career Mode Expert and I'll see you next time.